Hi, it's me, Alvin. We've come back to finish this chair. The process will be pretty simple today, and we'll be including a cool antiquing effect later on, so stick around. For this process, you'll be needing nitrile gloves. Since it's so detailed, I'll be using a brush, but I typically prefer a rag. Rag for wiping the stain off. Your stain of choice. Some vinyl sealer, and your lacquer of choice. So when you're choosing your stain, a couple things to keep in mind are the species of your frame. Is it oak? Is it mahogany? Is it ash? This will all affect what the stain looks like on the wood. Another thing is what color is the fabric you're upholstering with? Because that can either contrast or accentuate the color of the stain. These are the materials I chose. We have this really dark brown leather and we have this green striped fabric. Now, we chose this stain sample because it contrasts against the dark leather, but complements the green. You may be familiar with color wheels like this, or like this, that are used for paint. That doesn't quite work for woods, so you have a color wheel like this, because wood really comes naturally in one of four colors. You got your yellows, your oranges, your reds, and your greens. Now that we've picked our stain, let's get going. Now we stain the chair. You always want to wipe this stain with the grain, if you can. You typically don't want to stain a whole piece all at once. You kind of want to pick one part at a time and work your way, and then wipe it off, and then continue. Though you don't want to leave it very long, because this, if the stain dries and then you come back and try and stain more, those two colors will not blend well. So I just finished up staining. It was beautiful. Um, next step will be we'll take it to the booth and we'll seal it up and get it ready for lacquer. Sealer, the reason we seal things is because if you've stained something, sealer will help keep it from staining other things. It'll fill little divots and things and just generally smoothen out the ultimate finish. You can just lacquer things directly, but it'll give you a little, it'll result a little rougher than if you seal things. If you don't have a proper spray gun that runs off a compressor, you can get this stuff in a rattle can. The advantages of a, of a uh, dedicated gun though that runs off a compressor is that you can control a ton more. Nothing wrong with a rattle can, just not super easily controlled. So I just measure how quickly it runs off the stick. If you pull it out and it immediately starts dripping, you're too thick. But if it's running for too long, you're too thin. So you want it to run for about one, two seconds and then start dripping. So we just put the sealer on. Now we gotta make some more lacquer so I can fin actually put finish on. Once again, if you don't have this whole complicated setup I do, you can find all this in rattle cans and it works like spray paint.
So this is just a little cup of lacquer thinner. And once again, this works just like the sealer. Same kind of mixing ratios, same kind of results. Once again, the more you do this, the better the feel you'll get for it, and you'll figure it out. And results in better and better finishes. Don't expect your first project to be perfect. We're probably gonna have to buff the sealer just because we were in there too long and it probably dried as I was spraying, so it's gonna be a little spiky. No problem, just buff it down. Then I'm gonna put on a couple layers of this, and then I'll use what's called a toner to add a little bit of antiquing so that some parts will be a little darker, a little more brown. So we waited about 10 minutes before we pulled it out of the booth. The lacquer will be dry to the touch in that time, but still a little delicate. You can still scrape it. So wait about 10 to 24 hours before doing anything else with it. Other than that, if you've got any questions, please leave them below in the comments. We'll get to responding as quick as we can. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.